Have you had trouble adding photographs to your video clips in GoPro Studio? If you have, I'll show you how we fix that. If you haven't watched my previous video on getting started with the GoPro Studio a beginner's video, take a look at that first so you can understand some of what I'm clicking on before watching this one. What most people will do is they'll go to their folder where their clip is sorry their uh, photograph and they'll click on it and add it and it says four frames if you'll see here I had four photographs but I only selected the one what has happened is it has pulled all those photos in to GoPro Studio and when I can when I add them to my conversion list and convert them it actually pulls all the photographs in and when you step over to step two and start a new template if you move these into your video area and you hit play you'll see all four of them play very rapidly watch how fast they play that was quick. We don't want that. So here's how to fix it. So here are your pictures and I have them all currently in this one folder and when you select it like I showed they all will pull in. So what you want to do is you want to make an individual folder for each of your pictures. And go ahead and drag a picture into each one. Okay, now we have a picture in each folder and there's only one picture in there. So what we want to do in GoPro Studio is now add import each photograph from each folder. And I will do that real quick here. You'll see it says one frame. There's only one picture in that file right there. So if we add our other pictures, I'll add one more here just to save time. Okay, there we have all three pictures. One thing you'll want to do is check in your advanced settings and make sure that this image size is not this large. It will be way too large and can cause it to crash. So um, you don't want to be any larger than 1080. So I'm going to go ahead and select 1080 for this picture and click OK. And I'm going to convert and add that to my list. So I'm going to do the same thing here for these others. You can see it's saved. It remembered my settings at 1080, so that's good. I'll double check that again just to make sure and add it over here and we'll convert them and get them over into our editing area where we will be putting video and photographs together. We'll create a blank template here. Now I don't have any videos in this, but if you did, you can insert your pictures wherever you'd like them um, in, during your video clips, if you have actual video clips in your, um, your video that you're creating. So I'm going to go ahead and put these pictures in here. And you'll see that they individually play, but they're going to play very fast. Okay. Back here at the beginning, if I hit play on this, watch how fast they move. You didn't even see them. So what we want to do on each individual picture is we want to come up here to the speed in the video control section. And currently it says 100. We want to move that as far down as we can. Maybe like 
on one. You can also just type in one here also. Okay, and we're going to do that for each one of these. Put a one in there. And if we go back to the beginning here, you'll see how that they all play and show up for several seconds so that they're not uh, going through your video very quickly and not visible. And you can adjust the speed if you want. So now then they're all visible. You can also go in and do some other things like reverse and different things like that. But that's how you get a, a picture to show up added individually to your editing clip and slowed up so that the picture shows for several seconds. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and leave comments.